I'm going to try and make this praying mantis. Okay, to start, I'm going to work on his triangular shaped head using a green 160. this back and forth. I'm gonna start at the eyes I think. And he needs a little place. A little tiny place for his antennas to come out. I'm gonna put two little pinch twists up there. So one pinch twist, a little bubble, two micro pinch twists, another little bubble, two micro pinch twists. And another little bubble, and then another pinch twist for the side of his other eye. Then I'm going to weave it down. I think I'm going to add another green 160 in to weave his head back and forth. I'll tie it on this other side like this. I'll start a little weed with little bubbles going back and forth. I think that's how I'll do his head. I think I'm looking at the praying man is now and he has like a kind of a pie shaped head. So making bubbles. Flipping it through. Making the next bubble a little bit smaller going across. And then a tiny little micro bubble over here. Try to match it up with the other side. Flip it around. And the longer one goes over. Same size bubble. And I'll roll these through. Like this. And now this will be where he has his little teeth. So I'm going to put a little um, little bubble pinch twist and another little bubble pinch twist over here before I go across. And then I'm going to make a bubble here. Lift it down. Flip that around. And it should be good for his head for right now. Maybe I'll just use this bottom part and I'll just run it right to the back there. I could still use that. Why not, right? About the same size. I have this. Still looking at um, the praying mantis' head. Okay. Oops, that one's not pushed around. Pushed around. Okay. When his head gets a little bit skinnier as it goes down. So I am going to twist these together. Right like so, underneath this mess. <laughs> like that. Now what I'm realizing is his eyes need to be a little bit bigger. And he has like little um, pincher thingies the very front of his mouth. 
look at that again. Or lime green, 260, and a little um, bubble for an eye. Tie it clear up at the end, so there's like a lot of uh, space right here. And tuck that in, fold it down in. I'm gonna, he only has a little tiny pupil, so I'm gonna pop this over here and then push it in so that just a little little eye sticks out like that because that looks like a, a praying mantis eye right there got this ugly bump in the back but maybe i can hide that okay i'm gonna do the same thing with another one now i'm gonna try to put his eyes on he's got these little bulb shaped eyes okay i'm not not quite happy with my praying mantis's head because it looks like an alligator head so i need to um fatten it up on the sides here at the top so i think i'm going to take a lime green one because he's lime green and spring green from what the picture looks like i'll we'll wrap it around this top pinch twist on one of the the top left corners of his eye no, cut this off some so it's not so long and I'm just gonna wrap this around that pink twist kind of leave go of it then I'm gonna build out like an eye lid like like an eyelid type of thing I'm gonna just squash it down and I'm gonna go around one of these little pinch twists right here at the top middle flip it around I and mean, I'm going to keep going with this I'm going to flip it around the next pinch twist and then flip it around the other corner pinch twist and match my bubbles up make sure they're still white and that Actually, I'm um, going to put the eye in next. So, I have this. I'm going to wrap that other eye on. And then take it up around. Take that uh, up around the corner pinch twist and just kind of wrap it around and let me fix my eyes again and I'm gonna run these uh this lime green one kind of under underneath and make like a point here just so it looks more pie shaped no i'm not showing you but this is the front this is the back i'm running this up around the other little corner like this <laughs> and let me fix his eyes on top and then I'll run this one green one to the back and put around that pinch twist and then let's see Now I have this, and so what I'm thinking to do is to um, get another, I'll get another lime green 160, and I'm gonna see where, how this one's coming out this side. I'm gonna go behind this other eye and wrap this 160 lime green around. That picture. Now, I think I'll do is keep these green ones together and 
twist these lime green ones together up on the top of them and I'm gonna kind of loop one around uh, maybe I'll flatten them out I'm kind of doing this as I go I'm gonna keep it skinny so I'll loop I'll use, I think I'm going to use one of these as the main part. So I'm going to loop this around one time. So one lime green one I'm going to use just to run back and the other one I'm going to loop it around make little loops for the neck. So I have this. If you can see that. All right, so I'll use my line that doesn't have a tail to, to just run this around. I'm gonna put a little loop in this one, a little loop in the other one, twist it, and then the one with the tail, I'm gonna run that around. Loop it, like loop it around those two. And squeeze that a little loop -a -doop -a -doop and twist it. I have this funny thing. And let's do it again. Let's do it again. Okay. Press a little bubble together. And twist it and loop it around. Now, looks like about, about here, I'm going to need to add the arms in because you see it goes down and his arms come out right about that far down his neck so, so let's see okay running this around and we need somewhere an attachment point for his arms so I'm gonna go down halfway or <laughs> I'm gonna go down about two fingers on the side and put two pinch twists in. One, two, to add his arms into. And then I'll make pretty close together. So I'll make a tiny little bubble and then put two more pinch twists to add his other arms in. Spin him around and then I'll go around. Back up to the other side. Now, I have a place to add his arms in. Right there. See? Boy, does this, this thing have a long neck. This is great. Okay. So there's where I can add his arms in. And then I just keep running it down. I'll, I'll run it down. I'm running out of 160. I might have to add more onto that. He's got a pretty long neck. I have this, but I'm going to stop and add his arms in. I'll, I'm going to stop here and restart the video just so I run out of, uh, run out of space. Right, now I'm going to add his little arms in. So I'll start up here with one of the spring green ones, 160s, where I put the little pink twist in. And I'm going to look at them. Uh, let's see, and it looks like his arms go down this way. And I'll take up right about there. It's about a it's about a six finger bubble. And twist it, and I'm gonna give him two two little pinch twists to bound that elbow pretty good. And then pick it back up. Hmm like he's got like another six finger bubble and this is a little bit fatter so I'm going to do a three bubble roll through for the fatter part of his arm and let's see this goes down here goes back and it looks like it comes up more so we can tuck it in there to keep it to come up more I mean after all it is a praying mantis so 
to go with that. I'm going to put two pinch twists in here. And then this part gets tucked back. Hmm. Let's see. So I'm going to tuck this part back. It's kind of like these little claw things that go down. And I'll put two more pinch twists in because it goes up back towards his elbow a little bit. That looks good. I'll cut this part off. It's bent a little, so let's see. I'll bend it a little like that. It's like a little bent, bent arm. So you got like this, this thing going on. Let me see. Okay. Okay, little Mr. Frank Menace. We can, we can mess around with his hands and make them, and his arms and make them a little bit better. So, You've got kind of like this thing going on, like that. And let's do the other arm. Let's get another lime green or spring green 160 and attach it where that other little uh, double pinch twist is on the underbelly. And just follow suit with the same thing you just did. Have something that looks sort of like this in the front. Let's keep working with them. <clears throat> okay, so these are getting too full of air, so I'm gonna let some air out of them, and I'm gonna keep going. Probably can't get much more out of this, but I'm just gonna trim it down before I have to add more. Okay, let's see. I'll use the shorter one for the, the long part. Make two tiny bubbles and go around the body. And pull way back up here. Spin it around. All right, and probably need another one or two more of these things before. I can actually add another balloon on. Twist it, spin it around, run it back up around, and I'm going to tie it up here. I'm going to spin that around, cut this off and tie it. Lost my scissors. Probably could use a pinch twist right there. Seriously. And you get another one. I'm gonna make a pinch twist and stick it on there and wrap it around. I think I might be down um, <clears throat> far enough to where I can start. See his little leg spun around. I'll fix his leg at the end. Wait. <laughs> Gets confusing. So here's his little hands, and <clears throat> right here I got back to where I can start his underbelly body. So for this part, I'm going to, I think I'm going to, let's see. Okay, take two lime green lug 60s with about, I don't know, five or six finger tails tied together. 
And I'm going to start up here where I have this pinch twist. So I'm going to wrap it around there. Take it down around the body till I get right about here. And then I'm going to, this is about, let's see, about a three finger bubble. I'm going to spin that off and put two pinch twists. Now, the, his other legs, he only has like two legs up here and then he has four legs down below. Let me show you again. So, the four legs down below are all pretty close together. So, once you make this little bubble with the two fingers and the two pinch twists, Let's try making a one finger bubble and then two little pinch twists again. Turn them around. And let's take that. <laughs> let's take that up around the bottom of the praying man. And up to the top where that little pinch twist sits on the top. Spin it around. So you have this. So his front legs can go right there. Now we need two of these together. Then two together with a little one finger bubble. Go down and loop it the whole way back up around without making the other back feet yet. Spin that around. I still have one sticking out up here. It's okay. And then I'm going to pull these two up a little bit. And then I'm going to make the um, same thing. So his back legs can go there. So let's see. So take the one that's you know has no tail and run that down the middle. You don't want to do the pinch twist with that one because we're running out of room again. So one finger bubble on the top here, and then let's run it down. The same as um, where we did the front legs. They're like a two finger bubble, two little tiny pinch twists. They're like one finger bubble pinch twist on a lime green 160. Move it around. One finger bubble, two one finger bubble pinch twists, spin it around, and then go back up to the top. And spin that around. Spinny spin. Alright, now let's see what we have here. We have this thing. Okay? looks more like a praying mantis now. Now, let's add his uh, feet in. Let's see. He needs feet, but he has a little bit of a fatter body going down. So, I want to show that with the balloon. So, let's see. I'm going to do that. I think, I think what I'm going to do is right here in between this bubble, and this one, I'm going to kind of cut this one that's here in. Might make it a little bit fatter. Right there, I'm picking them up a little. And I'm just going to do this. Make a little pinch twist. And run it back up to the top of the body. Right here. Now I'm going to run him back down. And wrap this around here. And now see, I need something right up around there. I don't want to... I don't want to use that. I guess I can. I'm going to wrap this back up. Tuck it in, wrap it back up around the pinch twist. 
now. So that I'm not losing my praying mantis body and all this fun stuff in here, I'm gonna stop right here and I'm gonna put his legs on, his bottom legs. So I'm gonna use dark green just to mix up the color a little bit. So right around where we have these two sets of pinch twists, I'm gonna take the end of a line, um, Emerald green, I'm thinking, or what is this? This is like regular standard green that I don't buy anymore usually. With the five finger tail on the 160 and wrap it on, on the front set of the uh, pinch twist for the front of the praying man's uh, body up here in the front. That's where we're at. His legs are getting all messed up again. So he's like this. All right, so I got that there. I'm making this sort of instructional on the fly. I don't know why you guys would want to make this, but hey, <laughs> I want to make it, so who knows? All right, so I'm gonna go down like four, four fingers, and I'm gonna pinch off two pinch twists. And like in this picture, his legs and his four big long legs on the bottom are kind of darker so that's why I'm making them a darker green just to kind of show that and it's kind of fun to mix up the colors and so his I'm gonna give him a third pinch twist just to get more shape out of his legs so they do more of what I want them to do and I want I want his legs they kind of bend back a little bit and then they go up towards the front and out to the side. So he's like a little bit bow-legged, poor thing. He's also bow-legged, uh, he's also bow-legged with his long legs. And for this one, I'm gonna do the six finger bubble. I want him to have a little support, so I'm gonna do three more little one finger bubble pinch twists got some some lovely legs <laughs> so three one finger bubble pinch twist again just to give him some support let's see this leg where's the front of his head this leg will go back this one goes frontward and then this one's gonna drop down and out to the side this one's gonna kind of go up a little bit so you can bend and curve that up like, right like that so here it's going to be kind of fun because I think I'm just going to um, put in a couple pinch twists here, maybe yeah, maybe three more pinch twists. I went down on his longer leg about eight fingers. So I'm going to make three more pinch twists, and he has jagged feet, which is a little bit hard to do with a balloon. So I'm just gonna curve this a little. And I don't want it to be super mushy because I just want him to have some support so it stands up whenever I put it on the table. So this is about five fingers. Cut, I'm gonna cut off the end or pop it off and tie it. Okay, I'm just doing his legs right now so I can see what's going on. Okay. A little froggy like but so his front leg kind of sits like this not the very front you know not like his arms but it's like leg kind of sits like this and I'm gonna do the exact same thing on this side with another standard green 160 so just kind of mirror that the same thing you just did the same size bubbles and everything okay we're gonna do the same thing with this leg on the other side right where these two pinch twists are okay here's how his front legs will sit and now let's do his back legs i'm gonna use 
another standard green 160. Wrap them around this back two pinch twists. And like if you make the legs right now, you'll be able to see what's going on to finish out his legs. And this this is going to get a three bubble roll through. So, but first I'm going to I'm going to make a five finger bubble and three one finger bubble pinch twists. And his back leg sits up higher than his other legs. You know, the ones that are touching the floor I'm talking about, not his little arms. So, make a five finger bubble. Three one finger bubbles and pinch twist them. And then let's go back down here and do a three bubble roll through because he has like thicker thighs. Okay, so run it back up to the three pinch twists. Wrap it around. Wrap it around good. And now, this is going to bend down, but it looks like it's going to go up pretty high. And I'm going to make an eight finger bubble and put three one finger bubble pinch twist in there. Wrap them around. And this time, I think I'm going to leave all that remaining for the back leg. And I'm just going to come down here and kind of curve it out a little. Right like that. Because that kind of looks like his back leg on the picture. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So mirror that. Take another standard green 160. And now, now let's look at this. So we have this big thing. Now we need to finish out his body. And I believe this is going to take more little coils with the lime green 160s. So I'm going to straighten these out and I'm going to continue my little bubbles and then wrapping this around, twisting it together. Two little bubbles and I'm just going to fill out that body. It gets a little fatter on the bottom but I'm going to Go over that with another balloon, I'm pretty sure. I think I am. Wrap <laughs> around. Twist them together. And this is kind of going to, say, go down a little bit. to bend down a little downward. It's getting tight. I'm going to have to add more. I'm almost to my end of my balloon. Try to keep these um, spring green ones flat while you're working if you can. I'm going to bend this down. I'm going to pop and tie these off but try to get a pinch twist out of one of them for the top of this. And since they're really tight, I'm just going to nip the end. Let's make a pinch twist out of this one. Flip it around. Squeeze a little uninflated part at the end. Pop it and tie this two times. You don't want to just tie it once because it'll come and done. Possibly. Most likely. <laughs> then pull this up and cut it. Alright. Let's see. Let's take another one. Wrap it around the pinch twist. Take another one. 
wrap it around the pink twist. You can tie these together if you want. I'm going to hide my knot underneath. Make two little bubbles. Wrap one around. Twist it together. Together. I'm pretty much at the end of where I want him. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know that I want to take it any further because the wings go up there. But I'll take it. I'll take it out one more, one little bubble, and wrap it up around. And now I want to thicken this part out a little bit. So how am I gonna do that? <laughs> Let's see. Okay, to thicken it up, I'm gonna take some lime green 160s. I'm gonna make a little pinch twist in the end. I have about a four finger tail on this one. And right behind the um, back legs, I'm gonna put the pinch twist up on the top of one of these and just kind of kind of tuck it in and flip it around and now I'm gonna kind of fatten that up a little I'll just take it under and up then I'm gonna go back we want this down I'm gonna bend this down <laughs> I'm going to take it back about two, make a little pinch twist. I'm going to go back two bubbles, make a pinch twist. Wrap it under. And go around. But I just want that to be a little thicker. The watch his life doesn't get wrapped up in there. And see this one? I want to take a pinch twist here. Make this a little longer and I'm gonna wrap this, wrap this around to fatten up the middle body part with what's hanging out there. and a little pinch twist. I'm going to wrap it around. You can take this long one that's left over and just wrap it up around. Squeeze it up and I'm going to wrap it up back to itself, back to this pinch twist, just to thicken that body up a little bit. See that? Okay. So these ones, I can take those up. I'm going to make a pinch twist at the very end of this one. We still have to put some wings on there, so I'm going to make it too thick. But I'm going to wrap this around and thicken that up because it's just thicker on the bottom and the back. So I wrap that around once and just like, just use these ones and go up a little bit. You can roll two of them together if you want to. Just go around with one, like work your way back up the body, just thicken it up a little. That's all. Just because it is thicker, that's all. Oh, 
moving around. Wrapping that around. So I only need this one right here. Should be enough to thicken up that body. And now I just have some balloons left over that I can pop and tie off before we add the wings. I have a little micro bubble on the top and I'm just tucking it under. So there's a row on top of that. I'll fix his legs when I'm all done here. Alright. I'm going to connect that because I think it will look better. Pop these. And tie those together to top. I'm going to leave these ones here in the way back for now. You might want to tie those two times. So I have this, all this stuff. We can fix it. We can fix his legs in a minute. They kind of go like this. Okay, so now we need the lead of uh, the wings. Now I'm wanting my praying mantis's head to um, stick down a little more. So I'm gonna take. There's a little flat place on the top of the back of his head. I'm gonna take two of these um, standard green 160s and tie them together, and then I'm gonna go way to the back. Make a pinch twist out of one. A little one inch bubble pinch twist. I'm going to tuck it back here. Up under his head. I'm going to use this, this balloon, to make his head go down. Two pinch twists in. Try two pinch twists. It could be better right at the back of his head. And then use two of these and go down to this right, um, the pinch twist that sits right on top of his front legs. Push his front legs a little bit. Twist it. So this is going to be about 10 fingers. And then I'm going to push it in to that little pinch twist and wrap it around. Be very careful. <laughs> this is going to help push his head forward. can put one flat in the middle. I can pop tie that off. You don't want his neck super fat, so you don't want to keep adding balloons because then it'll be too thick. Okay. 
Now we have to put some kind of wings on the back of them. So I'm gonna use Spring Green 160. Okay, I'm not real happy with his eyes. I think they need to be bulkier. So I'm going to take a lime green 160 and wrap it around and just double that up. I'm gonna wrap it right around where it's already wrapped. And I'm gonna put a double layer on for his eyes. I just think he needs more of a lid eyelid. I'm going to wrap it around this little tiny pinch hook. And go across. Actually, when I get right here to make his head go forward a little bit more, I think I'm going to connect it to these back two pinch twists right here. You can make a three bubble Three finger bubble, wrap it around this pinch twist, and then go up to the other pinch twist. That makes his head stand out a little bit better. Wrap it around that other little bubble to the um, right of his left eye, the little pinch twist. and layer this around his eye. I think I like that better. And wrap it around the other pinch twist. to make a more praying mantis like. So I have this and then I'm going to pop this and tie it off. Tie it two times. There should be a little knot left over from before that you can tie it to. A little piece of balloon. I'm going to snip that and I'll add in the uh, little antennas now. I'm going to blow up Oh, well, don't inflate them. Just put a little puff of air in them about 10 or 11 fingers of a 160 standard green. Probably could get away with black, too. And I'm going to just wrap it around this tiny little pinch twist and tuck it under so you can't see it. And I'm going to just put it up there. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Can't have that. Nice. You can probably separate those a little to the sides. Now fix his legs and turn his body so it stands right. You have to look at that. You, his body will turn a little bit, so we can fix that at the end. Now I'm not super happy with the top here where it's sort of sticking up. I want this more flat, so I'm just gonna take an uninflated balloon, tuck it around this one. I'll tuck it under this one and then pull the sides down flat. Or how do I want to do this? No, I want to pull the middle down flat. So I'm going to tuck it up over and pull the middle down flat. Sorry, but that, that part's driving me a little bit nuts because I need it to sit flat. And I'm just going to tie it underneath. I just don't like those, that bubble sticking up. Let me bonkers. Tie it. Cut it off up above the knot. Now we need back wings for our praying man. It's a little bit better. 
It sits more flat on the back, which is what I want. Okay, now we have to add back wings, and for that, I'm going to want 160s and we'll go spring green with about a five finger tail. Tie the ends together. And these wings start right up above the front legs, sort of. <laughs> you want to get them on the pinch twist. We'll go, I'll go in this pinch twist right here. like this and then I want to put twist these together and put two pinch twists back here so I can attach the wings to them. So pop this off and make another pinch twist. So you have two pinch twists back here and a little nub sticking out like that. And now I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap this down to the pinch twist and twist it on there. And I'm gonna take a standard green 160 and wrap it around that same pinch twist. Wrap that around the outskirts of the spring green one and back up the other side. Make it the same size as the one on the other side. Pop and tie it off and wrap this side into the top here. Cut off the remaining. Now I need something a little bit bigger to set right there on that. So I'm going to use I'll use a spring green one, a 260. Put around that same pinch twist on the top. Push this down flat and wrap it around that bubble at the very tail of the balloon, tail end of the balloon. Sit it down flat. And let's see. And let's run it back up and sit it down flat next to the 260 you just had it by. Make it the same size as the other 260 and pop and tie this off. Wrap around that tiny little portal <laughs> lime green pinch twist on the uh, Frank Manis' back. Everything tied on there. And then this remaining balloon, I'm going to take that and run that down the center just for color. So I'm going to bring him frontwards a little bit by pushing this bubble forward. His back. Um, wings 
look like a leaf. So, I kind of want this to look leaf-like in the back. these off. Like you can run a run a balloon down and pull his body up, but I mean for the most part this this turned out okay. I'm pretty happy with it. So I'm gonna leave him alone for now. And fix his legs. You can look at a picture to fix his legs the right way. bubble roll through on his back thigh, tuck that in. It helps him stand the right way. Tuck that in and back. He's a little bit bow legged in the front. So let's see. Let's see how I did on this um Freestyle one try praying manis. This is the balloon. This is the spinning one. the bl balloon praying manis. Thanks for watching guys.